college football from Legion Field in Birmingham, the Boston College Eagles and the Alabama Crimson Tide. We'll talk to Don Shula in a moment. Ken Bell will be deep along with Tyrone Taylor. They are a pair of running backs for Boston College. And Terry Sanders hits it and the game is underway. It carries well into the end zone and will not be returned. Ken Bell takes it, puts his knee on the ground, and it'll be first down BC at their own 20 with Doug Flutie opening at quarterback. He is 5'9". Troy Stratford out of Linden, New Jersey, 185 pounder at tailback. Jim Brown, the fullback, 235 pounds. Kelvin Martin is a wide receiver. He's a flyer out of Jacksonville, Florida. And Gerard Phelan, and here's your first snap. Flutie back to throw it on first down. Whips it to the sidelines, and it is almost picked off by number 97, Cornelius Bennett, an outside linebacker. Who, well, they've got two big tight ends on second down and 10. And again, Flutie is back to throw. Giesemann's a big target for him. He looks. He goes with it. Deep downfield pass is incomplete. Intended for Phelan. Back into the ball game now comes uh, Ken Bell at the tailback position. They are double wide, third down and 10, and it probably figures pass again. Flutie back, turns the other way. Great protection for Flutie. Looks and looks and looks and looks and finally throws it, and he's got a man wide open, and he missed the fullback, Jim Brown. But he missed his receiver. Gieselman is 6'6", 240. Mark McDonald, a tackle, is 6'4", 270. Steve Trafilo is 6'4", 265 at guard. Jack Bicknell, 255 at center. Mark Bardwell, 255 at guard. Sean Regent, 270. The uh, punter has suffered a knee injury. Mahalik did in spring practice. Gets a pretty good kick out of there. Back is Greg Richardson for Alabama. Takes it at his 25. Stumbles. Comes back. Loses the football. It is covered by Boston College. Boston College recovers the fumble by Richardson at the Alabama 28-yard line. 14-25 to go first quarter. From the 28th, Flutie hands inside to the fullback, Jim Brown, to the 25. Alabama defense is going to have to come and rise to the cage right here. It is a good defense. Tan, Jarvis, Sowell, the big people, McRae, Bennett, King, Davis, linebackers, and that Bennett and King are as, two, uh, as good as anybody you're going to see on the outside. Robinson, Wilkinson, Tripoli, and Cooper, the secondary. Second down and seven, Boston College having recovered the fumble. They're sitting now on the Alabama 25. Brown, the lone remaining back, and Flutie. Back to throw it, looks down the middle, goes in the corner with it, and overthrows the intended receiver, Gerard Phelan. Gieselman, the tight end, is in motion. He may see the ball this time. He gets rid of it very quickly to Stratford. The tailback, and Stratford breaks it down to the 10, stops out of bound at the 9. That's what makes Flutie so dangerous, Frank. He saw Cornelius Bennett coming, just popped at him, knew exactly where his man was going to be to hit him. Ball is inside the 10. They give the ball to the fullback, and Brown is stopped short of the line of scrimmage. Second down. Ball is back at the 12-yard line. Flutie on an option, keeps the ball, turns to the front, goes to the three. They may mark him just outside. Third down and goal from the three. Flutie gives to Stratford. Right side, blocking good. Stratford, goal line, touchdown, Boston College. Ball pops loose, but the arms had already gone up from the linesman. TDBC. Good running by Stratford inside. As he was using more people, this time he said to Kevin Snow before the season, the job is yours, go do it. Snow has flipped the uprights with 11 minutes and 59 seconds to play in the first quarter. It's Boston College 7, Alabama nothing. The very few teams that hold an edge in series over Alabama. The kickoff by Snow is a high hanger. And Kerry Gould. The running back takes it, great speed, great change of pace, gets into the outside, 25, great leg drive, 30, 35, 40, 45, out of bounds, up near midfield. It's first down, Alabama, at their own 49-yard line. They start out with good field position, Mike Shula pitches the ball back to Goose, and Harry Goose, 6 feet, 185, a sophomore. And Mike Shula stands 6 to 200 pounds, a sophomore coming off knee injury. Good, as I told you, from Town Creek and a sophomore and a very good one. Here's the hammer for Alabama. Ricky Moore, six-footer, 235 pounds. The Horstead is in there right now. Greg Richardson is the flanker. His first fumble on a kick return a moment ago. And Joe Smith out of Mobile. He is at the split end, 6'2", 185, and very fast. It is second down and seven. Ball is sitting on the Boston College 48-yard line. This is Terry Good. First down for the tie as he cuts it back over the left side. 
Let's take a look at him. Preston Gothard is the tight end. Big fella, 6'4", 215 pounds. Gary Otten, right tackle, 6'6", 260. John McIntosh at guard, 6'1", 240. Wes Neighbors at center, 6'2", 250. Mike White at guard, 6'3", 240. And the other tackle is David Johnson, 6'4", and 270. Now and Moore is the lone remaining back as Alabama goes in a double wide set. And uh, Mike Shula back for his first pass and hits his man at the 35. Terry Good out of the backfield. Thomas Harrington, Ruth, Mike Ruth, the nose guard, Boza, Gorecki, the big fellas up front, Ed Gaffney and Andy Hemmer are the linebackers. Hemmer is from Ohio, one of the most distant of all the members of the roster. Russell, Eichen, Ferreira, and Thurman, the secondary for BC. It is second down, a pickup of about four, so it'll be second down and six, just outside the 35 for Alabama. This time, Ricky Moore gets the football. Watch the power of the man as he goes to the 40 and what appears to be a first down. Tough to blitz if he tied in off it. Third down, they need inches, and they've got it as Terry Boone turns it down to the 26-yard line. Alabama having fumbled the punt, which gave BC possession on the Alabama 28, and uh, has a chance to be All-American. Defense, five yards, second down. It's first down and five for Alabama. The ball is given to Moore. Moore hits him over the right side, runs into number 50. It's second down and four. Another new formation for Alabama, one that we have not seen in the game. Shula's pass. Good. Richardson inside the 15, down to about the 13 in the first down. The ball is placed down, first down Alabama on the Boston College 14. This is Paul Oxaroos. Inside the five, down to the three. It's first and goal, Alabama, on the Boston College three. Alabama trying to respond to BC's 7-0 lead. It's Garuth to the right again. Touchdown! in for the extra point try out of Paul Field. Paul hits it in his career at Alabama. He's 41 out of 41. They go 51 yards on nine plays. Good kickoff return setting him up for the tying touchdown. Boston College had grabbed an Alabama mistake and exercised that opportunity. That's a very high kickoff. And here's the return by Tyrone Taylor. Out to the 20, comes to the 21. We run down the other scores as we work our way through this ball game. Jim Lance will have more for you at halftime. Handoff goes to Troy Stratford. As Jim Everett, the Purdue quarterback, had a super day, and Notre Dame turned it over five times. On second down and eight, Flutie back. Look, good protection. Throws in. Go. Oh, it's caught on the rebound by Phelan. Gerard Phelan takes it to midfield. Last year it happened against Penn State for a touchdown, 68 yards. Stratford on first down. At the 48. But Phelan got it with the starch taken out of it and turned it into a big play. Flutie quick out there. Phelan on the ground. Down. Incomplete pass. To he made into a strong football team. They look like it. Oklahoma finally got it going and beat the Stanford today, 19 to 7. Flutie's pass down the middle. Pass incomplete. On the hands of Scott Gieselman. Field in early October. Be their first meeting in some time. The punt now on fourth down by Boston College. Uh, Peach. And this time, Greg Richardson handles it. Two tight ends, good running formation, and it has surprised Boston College, and they haven't made the accurate adjustments yet. Good come wide to the left. That seems uh, more to pull back up the middle. Good trap blocking gets him across the 25 to the 26. Colorado beginning to turn things around after some dry years. On second down and four, this is the fullback Ricky Moore out of Huntsville, Alabama. It's third down and a yard from the 29 for Alabama, and they go to Goode, and they get him behind the line of scrimmage. That time, they got penetration. To punt for the first time tonight, he's been doing very well in the floor hole. Look at that, Howard, sir. Oh, boy. Kelvin Martin all the way back at the 20, and it's dropped inside the 20. Steve Sohan is fullback, Stratford tailback, Gieselman in motion, double wide, Flutie pitches the ball to Stratford, looks for some daylight, there just isn't any. Brendan Murphy is in at tight end, replacing Scott Gieselman now. It's second down and seven, and this is Stratford carrying the ball across the 30 and gets out to about the 35. Gieselman back in at tight end, goes in motion, Flutie. 
Takes the handoff. Keeps it. Shoots it. And it bounces in front of the intended receiver, Kelvin Martin. It's the style of Oklahoma that won so many games in the 70s. That's Casparella in motion. And Flutie, the ball is loose. And recovered by Alabama. Kurt Jarvis covers the football. Alabama blitzed him and got him. And Alabama sits on the Boston College 25 with the football first down. And the handoff goes to Boone. And Taylor Boone still running, still going. It's touchdown. Alabama with two minutes and 45 seconds to play in the first quarter. Sanders to kick it off. Bell and Taylor deep. This is Bell two yards deep in the end zone and he's coming. The wedge breaks down. He takes a whack at the 18. They've contained Flutie pretty well so far. And off is in time. Steve Strahan carries to about the 22. Here's the blitz again. Jim Brown, the long remaining back, Flutie back, pressing down, they've got him, back at the 10. This is Stratford carrying out to the 16. Jack Bicknell went to Syracuse and came back to D.C. Gets his point out of there, it's a good kick. And Richardson back at his 37. Just puts his head down and runs right on into that uh, squadron of white shirts. First down Alabama at their own 47 with Paul Ott Carruth and Ricky Moore. And set back, and that's Carruth in motion. Mike Shula gives it to Moore. And Moore puts it on the B.C. side of the field at the 49. Second down, long six. Shula gives it to Carruth. Breaks the first contact and runs for a first down at the Boston College 40. As the first quarter comes to a close. Alabama 14, Boston College 7. And here we go to the second quarter, just short of the 40. On the B.C. side of the field, Alabama's football and Paul Ott-Caruth runs down to the Boston, near the Boston College 37. Almost had some contact in the middle. Shula's pass, whip, penalty flag. Is thrown a little bit offside. Just couldn't. Second down and about two and a half from the Boston College 32. Inside handoff. And the fullback Ricky Moore punching for the watch out for the touchdown play coming up here. They go for the ball. Shula kept it and was able to punch across just over the 30. First down Alabama. Boston College 30. Eagles defense jumping around, a little delay, giving the call out to Ruth. And the senior picks his way. It might be a little easier to block when you're dancing on your toes, too. <laughs> There's another semi-delay play with Ruth carrying. And that year, at 325 yards. Schuler rolling out. Keeps it. Dives inside the 20. Down close to the 17. Ricky Moore, a great football player. 18-yard line, Boston College. First down, Alabama. Shula back. Got a man. Two. Touchdown. Get all the advanced knowledge you can. Van Tiffin's extra point is good. With 11 minutes and 17 seconds to play in the first half, it is now Alabama 21, Boston College 7. Tiffin is 43 out of 43 in extra points. Sanders kicks it very high. That's Ken Bell, a tailback. Well, he runs out of some trouble. They had him pinned up pretty well back on the 10, but now it's up to Doug Flutie to get something going for the Eagles. Flutie is two out of nine for 40 yards, and he's minus three in the running department. And this ball off to Troy uh, Stoddard, and we've got a penalty flag. Unintentional face mask. Five yards. First down at about three. Flutie's pass is away. Caught by Gerard Phelan. Phelan's across for the 42. First down, Eagles. 
Flutie gives the football off to Stratford again, and Troy gets a couple of yards. And Second down and eight from the 43. Flutie quickly down the middle, pass is incomplete. Well, when they're six foot four and five, and he's five foot nine, makes a difference. A little deeper drop this time. Now steps up into the pocket, gets it off to the sidelines, throws to Gerard Phelan, and Phelan makes the catch at the Alabama 42. Mike, but he has not grown up in quite the same football atmosphere, and he's also a freshman, whereas Shula is a sophomore. Cody gets it away, and ball is dropped right in the numbers of Brandon Murphy. They've got Stratford in motion, gives some trips at the top of the picture. Flutie's pass is away. Good. Caught by Dombrowski on the on the bounce. It hit him on the shoulder pad. Phelan back in at wide receiver. No vision him down. And they've got a mix-up. And there's offensive men around from one position to the other trying to confuse. They're jumping around, but they're confusing themselves, maybe as much as they are Alabama. Booty back. Quickly away. Pass is caught. Got a man in the open is Troy Spedford. It's second down and seven. Flutie is six out of 15 for 95 yards. Stratford cuts it well. 15, 12, first down. Double tight end alignment now for Boston College. They got three tight ends in the game. Flutie hands it off. The play goes straight ahead with a fullback. Ball just inside the nine, but Strahan in at fullback. Flutie to Stratford. And Troy is grabbed by number 58, Wayne Davis, and it is third down and three. Flutie keeps it. Trying to run it, gets to the corner, then throws into the end zone. Incomplete. Fourth down and three. They're going for the touchdown. Or the first down. Sustaining the field goal. Flutie back to throw it. Pretty good protection. Now he's got a scramble throw. Now he's got a problem. Look at this. He gets away. Now gets it off and it is caught for a touchdown. I still don't know who it was who caught it. Might have been Strahan. His teammates are mobbing. Tremendous play on the part of Flute. You on fourth down and three. The kick is up and it is good. So we've got six minutes and three seconds to play in the first half. And it's now a 21-14 Alabama lead. Before he completed that five-yard pass on fourth down for the touchdown. That's Terry Good for Alabama. Oh, look out. If he'd have cut it left, it might have been... We had been told by Tim Brad, as Tim had been informed, that Ben Sutton was going to get an appearance, but nope. Now it's a seven-point ball game, so they keep in the starter, Shula. And Alabama starting from its 35. The ball that's scrambling and producing on a fourth down play was impressive. Second down and nine, Shula. Pitches inside the Utah pass. And it goes to Ricky Moore, and the power of Moore is evident there. There was just the name, Utah pass. Third down and eight. Shula is caught behind the line of scrimmage and brought down by Mike Ruth. So one official called it and the other did. Offside, defense, third down. They came back on that last possession. Mike Shula throws to the sidelines. Good to Ricky Moore. Moore's got a first down. And Shula now is 5 for 5, 37 yards and a touchdown. Alabama first down. Ball at midfield. Going to throw it again. Whips it over here. Passes right on the money to Terry Good. Good makes things happen. As he goes to the 40, just short of the first down. It is Alabama now, second down, a half yard, just short of the 40 on the B.C. side of the field. Uh oh looking for a big play. Shula under some pressure. Goes deep with it. Richardson gets away by number 17. The conversion. Good gets the first down. Oh, my goodness, if he'd kept his footing, he might have run for a while. A season of you know, somewhat um, muddled circumstances beyond the playing field in college football. Mike Shula 
Shoots that little swing pass off there to Ricky Moore. And Moore is inside the 25 to the 22. Vincent Munn, sophomore, took that hit from Moore. First down, inside the 23. Ball goes inside with Good. Now, second down at about eight. McCoy. Into the middle, Richardson. Third down and eight. Boston College trying to blitz. They pick it up. Passes in the corner. Richardson can't hold it. That was a catchable ball. He was 14 out of 25 last year in three-pointers. Paul Fields, quarterback, will hold it. Van Zippen from Red Bay is a sophomore. A lot of leg. And good. 132 to play in the first half. 24-14, 10 point Alabama lead. And let us spend a moment on Chestnut Hill and a look at BC. Here's the kickoff by Sanders. Oh, he nailed it. And Bell, oh, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Doug is seven out of 17 for 100 yards in the first half of the ball game. And a touchdown. Whoa. Nothing in that play for weighted down the ice. Booty on the run after the five yard loss. Hooks it back across to Stratford. And Troy is knocked down at the 20. So right is third down at about nine for Boston College. With a minute and three to play in the first half. Booty runs away from the pressure. Gonna run it. Can't get to the sidelines. Fumbled for football. Out of bounds. Near the 32. First down for the Eagles. 53 seconds to play in the first half. Cody looking. Gets his pass off. And it bounces in front of Kelvin Martin. It's something that you rarely see in college today. Cody on second and 10. Gets his pass away. And it is incomplete. 42 seconds to play first half. This time, he drills Martin on the numbers. Kelvin turns it loose. Ken Crimson shirts. But there is no penetration on him, and Greg Richardson waits for it at the 27. And comes back to about the 36. <laughs> Shula. Oh, he's lucky to get that one back. Second and 10. 20 seconds to play first half. Very good. Ooh, out of bounds. 12 seconds to go. At a 10 point, Alabama lead 24-14. Shula pulls it down. There's nobody available. So We're at Legion Field after this commercial message and a word from our local stations. Returns have been 44 and 35 yards, giving Alabama good field position each time. Snow's kickoff is quite high. They should have pretty good coverage on this. He takes it at the one. Good gets a hole. He's got one man to beat. It's going to be 99 yards and a touchdown. Extra point try is good. 13 seconds into the second half. It's 31-14, Alabama. And the coaches are so proud of the way he works and his dedication to being a better football player. Very short kickoff being returned by Carl Treshpain. And he brings the football. It's 31-14. Here's a handoff to Stratford. Troy Stratford picks up a couple of yards out to the 29. Zero and called in. They threw it to him, but he was well covered. This is a pass that bounces off the hands or perhaps bounced in front of It is third down and eight for the Eagles. They try to fake a, they fake a counter inside. That ball is thrown off the hands. And then go downfield. Offense. Lost it down. 
Fourth down. Kicking the ball. He's only had one short one of 30 yards. That's a good punt. Hangs up pretty well. Coverage looks like it's going to be pretty good for Richardson. He splits it. And it is thrown out of bounds. Back. And uh, they think he has a tremendous future. Don Horstead uh, is number 39. And Paul Ott Carruth is the tailback. And Carruth has the football. Stumbles a little bit as he starts to turn the field. Second down and four. And Sutton on a roll. Penalty flag is down. Whips the ball. The pass is complete to Joe Smith. And Smith fumbles the football. And Boston College covers it. And Boston College will have it first down. Holding. Offense. Decline. First down. And it made the hit and knocked the ball loose. Doug Flutie now out of his end zone. Goes over the middle with it. The pass is complete. To the tight end, Brandon Murphy. And Murphy takes a wallop. And I don't know if he's going to get up. Both of them walked off the field. And it's first down, Boston College at the 30. A handoff to Forrest Stratford. And Stratford is caught from behind by number 57. Flutie, play action, runs out of the pack. Turns it upfield, gets a big gain out of it. Picks up a first down, up around. Ball snapped at the 47. Flutie rolls it left. He's got Gieselman down the middle. Goes instead to the outside, Kelvin Martin. Martin turns it back inside and reaches the Alabama 33. Snap is on the 33. Stratford carries and can't get to the outside. Kurt Jarvis. The Boston College is averaging uh, 2.7 yards per rush in this ball game so far. Alabama on the other hand about five and a half. Flutie throws it outside. Diving try by Kelvin Martin. And three out of nine on third down conversion tries tonight. Inside, it's Phelan, the split end, working as a flanker. Now you've got Bennett and King back in that ball game. Flutie trying to get his first down, gets his pass off. The pass is complete. Yeah, he's across the line of scrimmage when he yes, turns loose. Any part of his body across the neutral zone. He grins and walks it off, and Vince Sutton is in at quarterback with uh, Ricky Moore and Baruch lined up behind him, and this is Moore. Moore is missed by one man. Number 81, Andy Hemmer. Second down at about seven. Sutton gives it to Carruth and falls up to the 36. Carruth almost jumped in the middle again. Sutton stands up. It's picked off. Intercepted by Tony Thurman. And he's out of bounds. The 10-yard line. Tony Thurman steps in front of the Sutton pass. Tough country when you got to go 10 yards and four downs down here. Flutie hands it inside to Strahan. And Steve Strahan does a pretty good job on the first down. Boston College with three tight ends in the backfield, uh, in the lineup. Flutie rolls it left, cuts it back in the middle, dive, touchdown, Boston College. Moody repeated the same play that he made the big play on their second touchdown, an option to the weak side. Game. Alabama had been leading by 17. Snow's chip shot try for the extra point is dead center. And that's where we are. 10 points. Alabama 31. Boston College 21. They have things in hand. It's a skittering, bouncing kickoff that's picked up by Kerry Good at the nine-yard line. This time, Boston College is able to handle it. Hit it 30 times, gained 108 yards as Oklahoma goes back to the wishbone offense. Mike Shula is the quarterback, pitches the ball back to Good and Good. They had to come from behind to do that. Second down now and seven for Alabama. The ball is at the 31. Mike Shula back to throw it, swings it out to Ricky Moore's fullback. He's still pumping away. He almost had a first down at one time. It's third and about a yard and a half. Ball up to Ruth, trying for it, and gets it as he gets to the 40. Shula trying to set up the screen. The ball is knocked loose and slapped out of bounds. West neighbors, so it's second down and 15. 
There's that little shovel pass to play their man earlier, and Ricky Moore is caught behind the line of scrimmage for third down and 15. Shula's pass knocked down at the line of scrimmage previously. 49 yards. Kelvin Martin is deep, and that is a beautiful punt. At the 19, he calls at the 20 a fair catch. They go to work at the 20. Palin has been quiet lately. And the football off to Brown, the fullback, two yards. That'll do it. 307 yards ain't bad for one three quarters. He's outstanding. Here. Second down and eight. Judy on a deep drop. Gets it off over the middle to Stratford. Stratford trying for the first down is short of it. Third and two. Stratford trying to pop it outside. And he can't get there. That's a fine defensive play by Paul Tripoli. Kick is away. Pretty good one. Richardson just names the fair catch and it's 36. Dancing around. Get some return yardage out of it. From the it's first down Alabama. Good field position. They're on 46. They send Carruth in motion. Give the ball in the middle to Ricky Moore. That's why Kerry Good was so important. Return and yardage. Yep. Second down at about eight. Shula, a little quick pop over here to Richardson for a wide receiver screen. And Richardson is brought down by David Thomas, who starts first. It's a second down and a third down and five. On the Boston College 49, Shula's pass is deflected. And number 41, 49 and 43 now. Let's see if he tries to kill it. He gets it way up. Gets a little tail dragger out of it. Tough one to catch. Calvin Martin is bumped into. And you get a penalty flag by an Alabama man. The defensive men have to stay with it. Gerard Phelan's been pretty quiet here in the third quarter. Flutie swings that ball out to Stratford. And Troy works his way up to about the 44. The Mets up there battling for the, for the penalty. Yeah. Second down and one. Stratford trying to bounce it outside to get the first down and does. Up around the 48. So, so effective in that first half. Yep. That's a very good point. Moody back. Good protection, and he shoots one down the middle to Gieselman. And this time, Scott handles it. But then it looked like he fumbled it, but he's come back with the ball. They're calling it down. So Gerard Phelan saves it. We've played three quarters, and we'll continue our game after this commercial message and a word from our local station. Boston College first down at the Alabama 30 with 15 minutes to play. Here comes Troy Stratford. And he's belted down. Bennett looping from the outside. Forces the quick pass complete to Dombrowski down at the 27. He's like a much like Lawrence Taylor. Third down and seven. Looted. Turns around and looks. Loops it to Phelan. First down at the Alabama 11. He's a tough receiver. Yes, he knows what he's doing. Moody 15 out of 31 now for 209 yards. The running game with Stratford is good for a yard, and that'll do it. Second down and nine from the 10. Murphy back in the ball game, number 85. The pitch goes to Stratford. Stratford is caught. Right out of 23. Towards the end of the stadium. to Phelan drop. A rare thing. Gerard Phelan. 27-yard field goal by Kevin Snow. Phelan holds it. It's up. And plenty long and good. And so with 11 minutes and 43 seconds to play in the football game, we're now at seven points. Alabama 31. Boston College, 24. Ruth is a veteran and good sharp runner, but not as fast and explosive as Good. Paul's got it. And comes. See, that's what makes him tough right there. Second effort. They had him full dead on the 20th. And we're excited about the opportunity to be down here playing Alabama, and we think we have a good shot of winning, too. And they're certainly still in the hunt. A handoff by Mike Shula to... Paul Carruth, 21-24, Alabama by seven. 
They led at one time 21-7 and 31-14. This is a little swing pass thrown out to Carruth. This time Boston College plays it very well. And Alabama, third down and nine. Julius pass, tipped in the air. And Carruth, I think, made the catch. Ball was slapped up in the air, and Paul Ockeroo takes the catch, and Mike Shula is hurt. Let's that define the penalty here coming up now as we see the replay. Bobby Aye is going to define that penalty. Ouch. Boy, the, the lineman. Personal foul. Offense. Third down. Oh, it's a personal foul. He's thrown two passes, and both of them have been turnovers. That's Carruth carrying. And he gets out to about the 17. The three. This time the wind's behind him. There's no pressure on him. And he gets it out of there. Pretty good kick. And a fair catch is called by Kelvin Martin for ball. A lot of time left. 9-19 to play. Alabama leading by seven points. 31-24. Lodi keeps it. Pulls it down and takes off upfield. And then sits down at the 49 of Alabama. Yep. Second down and two. This is Stratton. He's got the first down at the 45. First down, Boston College, Alabama 45. Flutie hands it off to Stratford. He's got a big hole. And he's got a first down at the Alabama 34-yard line. Here's Flutie. Throws it back the other way to Brown, the fullback. And Brown gets another first down for Boston College at the 22. Boston College scored 14 points at Foxborough a year ago to beat Alabama 20 to 13. In the fourth quarter. Stratford spinning to the 20. And he's giving Flutie a chance to really operate. Pressure's on. Emmanuel King. The play for Alabama. They're four out of 13 on third down conversion. Flutie flips it out to Stratford. He's at the 15, the 13. Close to his first down. Strong safety goes out. It's going to be an eight-man front. Gap every hole. Alabama's famous for this. Strahan is in. Flutie fakes it, throws it, Brown, touchdown! Now do they go for two? Or do they tie the game up? You got almost six minutes to play, 558. Uh, this afternoon in that ball game, uh, LSU and Florida. Florida went for the tie. They need this point right here. Phelan puts it down, Snow hits it, and it's good. So we are all even. 31-31. Uh, I hate the whole cliche, college football at its best, but we have seen some kind of turnaround. Kevin Snow ready. Carruth is deep. Boots it on the ground. It's picked up by number 30, Chester Braggs. And Braggs is really busted. Shula is in there. This is Carruth. Ball off Carruth. Breaks one tackle. Breaks another one. And keeps on pounding out to the 27. Tackle. Baruth Second down to about a yard and a half. It's Baruth over the right side, and he's got the first down as he crosses the 30. And six consecutive 100-yard games coming into tonight's contest. It's Baruth again. And they're trying to grind it. He gets a yard. Second down and 10. They don't give Baruth any yardage on that previous carry. Throw the ball. Shula loops it out for Carruth and missed him. Led him a little too much. Third down. Still about 10. Shula has very good protection. Penalty flag is thrown as Carruth makes the catch. He's short of his first down, I do believe. Holding. Offense. Third down. Ball is back on the 21. They've got to go to the 41 to get the first down. 20 yards on this play. It's thrown for Richardson. It's just off his fingers as Tony Thurman and Terry Sanders. The second pressure will be on Kelvin Martin. High hanging kick. Fair catch call. Boston College has the football. Here comes the fifth. The pass to Phelan. 
Gerard Phelan has a first down for Boston College at the Alabama 43. Darren Flutie, freshman, the younger brother of Doug, is in the ball game for the first time at a receiver spot. Ball handed off to Troy Stratford, and Stratford breaks it big down the middle. It's a foot race to the goal line. Touchdown, Boston College, no flag. This may be the greatest turnaround that I have seen in my life now with a team that looked so good the first quarter, first half. Snow's kick is good. So there you have it. A seven-point lead for Boston College, 38 to 31. We couldn't see the tail end of Snow kicks off. Short kick to Carruth at the 10. And call up the roof to the outside. Take it out of bounds. He goes out. From the 36. Pass is thrown into the Boston College bench. In the show, one starting a season with an inexperienced. They're trailing by seven. The time remaining is 3-13. Sutton almost caught behind the line. Finished by Ruth. Gets his pass away. Intercepted by Thurman. Boston College picks it off, and Thurman is still traveling. Goes to the Alabama 21 yard line. Second interception of the night by Tony Thurman. Play at Legion Field against Alabama. And lo and behold, look what they're trying to do. And may be very close to doing as Flutie rolls it out. Looks into the end zone, and the pass is swept away. Gieselman fighting for it on the rebound and can't come down with it. Second down and 10. Run it. Stratford. Troy. Hit. He fumbled. Fumbled the football as he was hit in the back, and he's got it. Alabama's got it. Oh, my. The referee has overruled the other official. Define as Keith said what happened. Here Stratford has the ball stripped, waving it a little bit high, should be protecting it. Ball comes out right there. That's a fumble any way you look at it. He... That's Jim Brown. He caught that big touchdown pass. Slam the door right here and make it a 10-point lead for BC. A lot of leg. Missed it. Alabama goes to work with Vince Sutton in at quarterback. A freshman whips a pass to Smith. Smith spins away, and now he's pinned. Herrera wouldn't let him get away. Pass to the sidelines again. Call out to Ruth, diving, trying for the first down, and gets it. This Sutton, the quarterback, this is his first game right out of high school. Only been practicing three weeks from LaGrange, Georgia. Scott Harrington made that tackle for Boston College. Pick up a five, second down and five, minute and 20. Ball is on the 38. Sutton's pass down the middle, incomplete, intended for Greg Richardson, third down. And that turned the game around. Third down and five from the 38. Sutton throws it away. And Richardson dives and made the catch at the 45. 38-31. Sutton throws deep with it. Overthrows everybody. Richardson was the only man he had deep. 104. Time remaining. Second down and 10. Little shovel pass inside to Ricky Moore. Moore, the fullback. Gets out of bounds. Stops the clock. First down, Alabama. Boston College, 28-50. I would wonder where he's been the second half. Yes. First down and 10. Sutton turns around, swings it out to Carruth. He wants to throw a pass. Does into the end zone. Intercepted by Tony Thurman. And a 15-yard penalty uh, for spiking the ball, but I don't blame him. What a play by Thurman. See Smith not open. He... He's in behind number 28, Munn, and look how far in behind he is, and Thurman comes all the way from the free safety position. 
And the officials definitely didn't catch the other. Nope. Two forward passes on the play. No question about it. And they would give a safety, I'm sure, before they would kick the ball. That's what you can expect. If Alabama can force them. Same kind of action, and Alabama immediately jumps to the timeout, so that'll bring up a third down, 14. Once again, Flutie sits down with the ball, and that gets the clock rolling, and Alabama now has no timeouts. The Boston College Eagles have defeated the Crimson Tide of Alabama by a score of 38 to 31, and it's one of the great victories in the history of football at Boston College. The Eagles of BC come south, and they go home with a treasure. 38 to 31. They're 2 and 0 on the season. Alabama had led 31 to 14 in the second half, and now it is an exuberant Boston College team 